What about a mechanical design engineer who doesn't plagiarize? Not a good draftsman. Okay, here we go. <laughs> As you just showed, is this a curve box mechanism used in an automatic cartoning machine? What about this one? It involves this music box, pre-order box, and then this. Then the feeding is like this. What will you find? Uh, where is his pickup location? He just stops, doesn't he stop? He, you see, at this time, this suction cup and this planetary pull are in the same line, right? 120. So there's another line, there's another line, there's another line, and those three positions multiply by 120 degrees. Ah, uh, so according to this request, we are uh, no. Ah, uh, that's what I want. 120, it's me, my heart rotates 120 degrees, right? Ah, uh, then how about my suction cup? How many degrees does the suction cup rod have to be turned? 60, it's going to turn 60 degrees, and they're touring in opposite directions, right? According to the ritual conditions, we can calculate a scale ratio of this planetary gear system of R to synchronizing wheels. Oh, uh, what about the frequency ratio of the planetary gear system? Well, the calculation is actually similar to a centering drive. It's just a transformation to subtract a planetary pull. Let's not talk about this yet. If you are interested in this aspect and want to learn, you can see my contact information in the comment area of this video and on the homepage of your account. Here we go. What about the second difficulty? It's this one that's spinning. We're going to use this suction cup to co-system. Because it's designed for both rotation and revolution, right? Then how do you wind this trachea? To be able to supply her to this suction cup. And the action here, you see, this rod has to calculate. And your trachea should not be disturbed, right? These are all some details in mechanical design. And the third is, oh uh, look. If you want to turn this, you will obviously find it. This one is heavier, right? It is this center of gravity. It is farther away from the center of rotation. What will this lead to? He has this centrifugal force, doesn't he? It will shake. It will be like this. If it turns fast, it will shake. And in it, we need to strike a balance. If you want to add a counterweight, where do you add this counterweight? How much counterweight do you want to add? Is it good? First of all, you need to know. That is, if the center of gravity here is here, of course not necessarily. I said I said I was here. So where do you add this counterweight? Your counterweight is as far away from the heating weight as possible. Like the same, uh, one kilogram counterweight or two kilograms counterweight. You are so close, in fact, you didn't even add me. I'm far away. Maybe it's heavier here. But you, you can balance it out. The farther away you are, the more centrifugal force this counterweight creates. To be able to balance this side. These are all details of mechanical design. So if you want the learning of this system to be non-standard, what about direct design? I suggest you follow the painting. Not necessarily. You don't necessarily follow me. No matter who you learn from, you must have this process of drawing from one to one. Because of these design details. You can't see it just by looking at it. For example, how did this trachea go? You have to have somebody draw it for you and do it for you. How did he get there so you can understand? Then I need to thank Low Tai fans. You can see my contact information in the comment area of this video and the homepage of the account. Thank you.